Right. Good afternoon, traders. Today is September 22nd, 2023. My name is John Carrigan, and I moderate the BYOB Trading Room. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the SPY. It's a daily chart of SPY, and we have a lower high and a lower low for the daily chart today. SPY is in a daily downtrend. Notice price action, 3 EMA, 8 EMA, all underneath our trend indicator. Hitting a neckline of support here, we'll see what happens on Monday. But this is our fourth day of our market makers reversal pattern. This would be the igniting candle down, the pause, check of resistance, price advancement candle one, price advancement candle two, price advancement candle three, and price advancement candle four. So there is SPY on the market makers reversal pattern. So let's take a look at QQQ. So here's QQQ, and we'll take a look at the QQQ on a clean chart. All right, so here's QQQ making lower highs, lower highs right here, and lower lows. So QQQ in a daily downtrend. Uh, notice price action, the 3 EMA and the 8 EMA all underneath our 17 EMA trend indicator. Right there, turning the trend indicator ball red. And if you notice for today's price action, we made, it looks like about an equal low and an equal high. So uh, QQQ kind of sitting on support right now. We'll see what happens in the near future. QQQ, bulls need to break this downtrend line. Bears need to break the neckline right through here, 356.73. Okay, there's QQQ. Let's take a look at FNGU. All right, here's the FNGU. Daily downtrend, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. So here we are with FNGU, and we'll take those off. The trend is down. They have already broken their neckline, which existed right through here. As you can see, this would be the head, left shoulder right shoulder and neckline right there in a downtrend lower high lower low on the daily candle we made a lower low and an equal high so there's fngu on a daily downtrend again three ema price action and the eight ema all underneath our 17 ema trend indicator price action to the downside on e fngu let's go take a look at Let's take a look at IWM. So let's take a look at two, Russell 2000. Here's Russell 2000 making a lower high and a lower low in a downtrend. Here's the neckline at 181.55. This would be the head, the right shoulder, and the left shoulder. Produces this neckline right here, price action underneath the neckline. Notice on the price action, price. 3 EMA, 8 EMA, all underneath our 17 EMA trend indicator. Price action, this is in a daily downtrend. And for the daily candle, we make out a lower low and a lower high. So IWM, not looking good for the bulls. Bulls need to break this downtrend. Bears doing a great job breaking uh, the neckline here, support. Uh, notice we do have a line of support right here. So we'll see how they attack this or how they how price action handles this. It may be right back up over the neckline again uh, for the bulls. We'll see what happens. There's IWM. Now let's take a look at Diamond Dow. Here's Diamond Dow, and we'll look at Diamond Dow on a cleaner chart. There's one. All right, so the bulls need to break the downtrend line. The bears need to break the uptrend line, and they did. All right, so we have a head and shoulders neck pattern. Uh, right here, uh, head and shoulders pattern. Here's the neckline, and you can see here's the price action breaking through the neckline of the head and shoulders pattern. This would be the head up here. I'll box it in for you. All of that would be the head. There's the right neck, left neck, right shoulder, left shoulder, break of the neckline right here. So here's price action moving down. In a daily downtrend, lower high and lower low identified. And we got price action, the 3 EMA and the 8 EMA. 
<coughs> excuse me, underneath, all underneath the trend indicator, there's Diamond Dow in a downtrend. Now let's go take a look at USO. That's our crude oil, crude oil moving up in a daily uptrend and consolidating over to the right in the daily chart. Uh, for the daily candle, we've got a higher high and a lower low. So expanding volatility here in USO crude oil right there. So I'd like to see this just kind of hold this area up over 78.34. Uh, consolidate right over that shelf right here. So USO, very bullish. Now let's take a look at UNG. It's UNG. And you can see UNG is in a channel between $6.50 and $7.50. And well, actually, $6 and $8, really. But, you know, they've increased it. They've moved the channel up to $6.50. And the top of the range is about $7.50. So, big bear flag here. Multi-month, multi-week, multi-day. Uh, just consolidation over to the right. This is winding up like a spring. When this thing pops out, it's going to be huge, I think. Uh, we'll see what happens. You can see crude oil is really bouncing up to new highs in the in this month of September. So let's take a look at silver. Take a look at some precious metals. All right, the bulls need to break the downtrend. The bears need to break the support at this this uptrend right here or the support at 2050. We have a move up. This is the point of origin. And you can see this is a big bull flag consolidation happening right through here. And you can see price action trying to make it up over the midpoint. Still in a daily downtrend with lower highs and lower lows here. So we'll see what happens. We'll take a look at it in the channel that it's in. And here's the channel. So fish around the edges here for silver. <clears throat> Gold. Gold kind of doing the same thing. Big bull flag consolidation bears need to break the downtrend excuse me bulls need to break the downtrend bears need to break the support line at 175 here's print price action ping ponging back and forth between the support and the downtrend line so eventually one of these two uh, support line or downtrend line is going to win out the future price action and we're going to see who's going to dominate the future price for the GLD. Again, this is winding up as well into consolidation for a big pop out either up or down. Could go either way. Right now we are in a bull flag pennant right now. So let's take a look at our economic numbers. Let's take a look at here's the dollar index right here. So here's the dollar index back in July 18th and it's been on a tear to the upside breaking through minor resistance, major resistance, more major resistance, and more major resistance up here. So here is the consolidation and uh, US dollar index just moving all the way, moving up, busting through major resistance one after the other. So this is not good for the markets because, well, it makes our goods and services here in the U.S. more expensive, and that makes us less competitive on the global stage, and that will affect the GDP in the long term. Speaking of GDP, let's go look at the economic calendar. So you can see this is for next week. Monday's a light day. Uh, Tuesday, consumer confidence at 10. New home sales at 10. Wednesday, durable goods at 8.30, petroleum report at 10.30. Here's the big one for next week. It's going to be GDP at 8.30. All right, so GDP is gross domestic product, and that uh, measures how much of our sales are going to foreign countries. In other words, how much revenue we're bringing from other countries back into the United States. So... That's not the stuff that they sell to us, but that's the stuff that we sell to them. That would be the other countries around the globe. Earnings calendar. What do we have for earnings? Friday, not much happening here. We'll take a look at Monday. Nothing big here. Nothing big on the market caps. 
Tuesday is the big day. Costco reports after the close, $245 billion. That could probably move the retail sector if they put up some good numbers. After that comes Cintas with uniforms and uh, sanitary stuff right there. That's at $51 billion. So we'll see which one's uh, going to move the markets here. Not saying either one of them has really moved the markets before. Costco has had an impact, uh, a slight impact in the past. So we'll look for Costco to produce something. And that's it for the market wrap-up today. Uh, we'll go back and I'll point out I've already done the MMRP. Uh, everything's looking uh, good for the bears, bad for the bulls. So we'll see what happens next week. Uh, whatever direction we're in, we could continue because there's nothing economically that's going to be reported that could turn us around. There's no earnings or economic data. So whatever whatever trend we're already in will probably continue. All right. So uh, I want to I want to thank everybody out there that came to the open house. This is the market wrap up report. Uh, we had an open house from Monday to Friday. Uh, September 22nd was the last day. I want to thank everyone out there that uh, came to our open house. Appreciate that. Hope you all learned something. I hope you all uh, had some good trades. We did put up some nice numbers uh, trading in the room. I encourage you all to get a subscription or a, take a trial. We have trials on sale right now for $24.50. I think that amounts to about a dollar a trading day, all right, uh, for for a month of 30 days. So not not a bad deal. The other the other uh, deal we have going on is uh, six months, normally 9.99, on sale now for 4.99, and I think that may last till the end of the month. I'm not for certain. I know it will last. Uh, yeah, I think I know it will last this weekend. I don't know if it lasts till the end of the month. But I'm pretty certain it will be uh, probably till the end of the month. So that's a uh, six-month membership for $499. That's a great deal. So anybody out there that's never tried a membership or a trial for $24.50, if you haven't done one in the last six months, you are eligible. Consider that. I got to tell you, there's a lot of paying members that would be glad and happy to pay $24.50 uh, for a month of membership, uh, currently they're all paying uh, upwards of uh, 55 and all the way on up to $112 a month. So if they would love to have the opportunity that you out there that haven't tried a, mem a trial membership at BYOBtrading.com uh, for $24.50. So give it some thought. And uh, I hope to see everybody Monday, 8 o'clock. I'll be putting up the morning market conditions and analysis report on Monday morning at uh, 8 o'clock. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you, and uh, have a great weekend.